shampoos out of the end. It would probably be like a mass, a mass exodus where everybody at Big Bear would leave. It would be like, you know, following Moses out of Egypt. Where would we go, Nia? We'd go with, we'd go with Noli. like Seattle it's the patio is beautiful I love the vibe all of that and so I just liked Stu right away he seemed really laid back and stuff and I was like this this is perfect because he wanted somebody to work like 30 hours a week and it was just very relaxed uh, so when he offered me a job I was like this is perfect. when I get here usually at around 7 30 or 8 in the morning uh, uh, the pastries have just been pulled out of the oven, uh, and they are warm, uh, they're soft, they're moist, they have all the good features of uh, what I imagine a, a good pastry uh, um, um, I like the cinnamon swirls, they go super well with my coffee. Um, I like to dip them in the coffee, and then um, by the time that I have gotten through my first cup of coffee and I've had the cinnamon swirl, um, uh, I've had read the uh, I will have had read the paper, so it's just kind of like the combo of reading the paper, drinking a cup of coffee with the cinnamon roll and monkey bread is amazing, and it's kind of become at this point a very central and integral part of my day. It's how <laughs> my cooking is really simple, and I want to keep it that way. The I I want to do cafe food, so. Uh, you know, so it's always going to be simple, but I wanted to appeal as, to as many people as possible. So we're not going to use all kinds of crazy ingredients. I'm not going to do any gastro, uh, molecular gastronomy, any of that kind of stuff, really. We're just going to keep it simple and really delicious. Um, all the fat, probably. I do, I don't, I don't skimp on fat, and, and I use sugar when I need it, and I'm not going to substitute funky flowers for regular flour or any of that kind of stuff. It's going to stay really simple. Meals were always cooked at home. We didn't eat out much, um, and they were cooked to reflect whatever sort of his dietary dogma was at the time. Um, so at one point we were no salt, no fat, no sugar, which I think left air pop popcorn and beans cooked with onions. <laughs> it was very bland, <laughs> and it but it forced it, it forced me to learn something about how to cook food because if 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 you can't put salt, sugar, or fat in your food, you really have to think pretty creatively. Well, I think I, I have this very sort of Swiss Family Robinson style uh, of food, which, I mean, which means that I look around in my immediate environment and I go, what do I have and what can I use? And, and so for me, cooking is very much about using whatever is in my immediate environment and putting it together. I want to take something that I think is fun and unique and interesting and incorporate that into something that everybody recognizes um, because I think that's what makes food fun and approachable. I think I learned to cook mostly out of uh, self-preservation. <laughs> if you want to eat tonight, you're going to have to figure something out and it's going to have to be made with beans and popcorn. <laughs> Yeah, I'm much more of a leader than I am a manager. I'm, a, I'm actually kind of a lousy manager because I don't really want to be bothered with the details in general. <laughs> uh, but I'm really, I, I like to get people motivated and I like to support yeah. and develop people. So, and to me, that's what a leader does.
I think of myself as more of a leader than a, than a manager, for sure. <laughs> so I don't like it when people call me chef. Because <laughs> to me, that implies, you know, you're like the boss or whatever. And that's not really how I see myself. Done, done, done. So I, um, I started as barista here at Big Bear. I was on the machine one day, and I overheard Noli talking about um, a baker that didn't show up for a stage. So, I, I mean, in the past I'd seen Noli come up with pastries and I saw her work and I was just really impressed and blown away by all of the pastries, um, the quality, also just the fact that they were baked fresh every morning. I thought that those were all really important and really impressive. Um, and then I just loved her energy and her passion. Really, she would let me um, start doing things. She would show me how it's done and then let me do the other half of it. So that's how we got started. And I grab it, okay, maybe, and put it right over that bar. You know, I changed something, or I, I used a new ingredient, or I reimagined it in some way. I don't believe that anybody but me can make my food. And that doesn't mean that somebody can't make something that is equally amazing or whatever, but I don't think I can hand you a recipe and you're going to make it the way I would make it because you're going to infuse your own thoughts and ideas and habits and skill level and technical expertise in what you do. And even though you're taking a recipe that I've given you, you're, you're going to put your own spirit into it and, and it's going to become yours. You know, so if your goal is to take my recipe and make exactly what I've made, well, that's okay. But ultimately, that's not a very creative thing to do. And I, I really want to encourage people to be creative. And because that, that's what was given to me when I got the recipe was a creative spark or whatever. Okay. So it's important for me to pass that on. Right. Um, so Noli, Noli to me is definitely a creator. She is um, not, I, she's a creator of many things. I don't think it's only in the kitchen or in the bakery. She, um, she's just a very creative person and I can see that in her. As far as her creative process, she's always doing something. Um, it's, we're never not doing anything. So um, it's, to me, it's very much a process of multitasking and balancing different things. You'll always have something baking in the oven while something is proofing, while you're maybe shaping dough or something like that. You don't, you don't get bored, and it's never routine. Everything is different every day based on the temperature of the room. Things can go fast, things can go slower. Um, and in that way, it's, it's just very scientific. Someone is, I mean, every detail comes through in the product. So everything that um, she creates, everything that I create, is it's custom. She's a bundle of energy. She is a, she's going 100% all the time. She's inspiring in her energy levels, for sure. She gets her bake on, very precise, very uh, imaginative. Mallorca is the pastry that everybody eats in Puerto Rico. It's exactly that dough. I can't believe I didn't realize it. It is a blood orange Mallorca. Wow. Saved. Killed it, Nolly. <laughs>